The pandemic clock is ticking. We could have another major one tomorrow. We've identified these viruses, viruses in bats that basically have the ability to be transmitted like SARS-CoV-2, highly infectious, but it also has on board the genetic makeup to kill at the rate of 20 to 35 percent. Now imagine instead of one and a half percent, this pandemic was 20 or 25 percent for case fatality rate. These viruses already exist. They're in nature and they're going to spill over. This is real. I'm actually an optimist by nature. We have killed many, many more people in this world and in our country from microbes in the last century than we have from all the wars. We've almost put nothing into defenses against our microbes. If we had the kind of resources that one aircraft carrier would provide. I am convinced in the next five to seven years, we could actually develop vaccines that would be highly effective and they could be made in advance in the freezer ready to go. And wow. we're not doing that. What's happening right now is, is the darkest days, I believe, in the last hundred years of public health. We've got to have a major change in mindset and realize these microbes are as deadly, if not more deadly, than someone's armaments. The difference between those two scenarios is millions and millions and millions of deaths, okay? We just canceled our investment as a country in mRNA technology for flu vaccines. Well, and in terms of cost, it seems the cost of having to, of society shutting down to one degree or another for two to three years versus a much shorter time, the, the cost to develop these things would be a drop in the bucket. This is going to happen. We're going right. to see more pandemics. We just don't know when, where, and how bad. But I'm telling you, they're going to happen. They're going to happen for the world, and they're going to be bad.